So now we're going to take a look at how to use your calculator to work with numbers in scientific notation. First of all, I'd like you to see what scientific notation looks like on your calculator so that we'll all be looking at it in the same way. I'd like you to begin by pressing the mode key and you'll see in this menu on the last line it says classic and math print. Make sure that math print is darkened. If it's not, move over, hit enter, and then second mode to get out. Now I'm going to do a calculation that would result in a number that's too big for the calculator to display. So I'm going to press 2 to the power 50, enter. And this is what scientific notation looks like on your calculator. You see that the answer is 1.12 and so on, times 10 to the 15th. And that's what it looks like. Now when you're using the calculator to work with scientific notation numbers, you have to be a little bit careful. And here's why. We're going to do a simple problem that has a simple answer on the calculator, but we're going to use scientific notation. So let's see what happens. The nut problem we're going to do is 200 divided by 100. And I think it's pretty easy to see that the answer should be 2. So let's see what happens when we do this on the calculator using scientific notation. 200 in scientific notation is 2 times 10 to the second. And that we're going to divide that by 1 times 10 to the second, which is 100. And the answer should be 2. But your calculator shows 20,000. So what happened? Well, what happened is this. The calculator uses strict order of operations when it interprets this expression. So what it did was, it did the 10 squareds first, but then it did 2 times 100, that's 200, divided by 1, that's 200, but then times 100 again. So we got 20,000. So the way to prevent that is to do it this way. Each scientific notation number has to be enclosed in parentheses. So on the calculator, we would type open parentheses, 2, and then we'd hit that little button that says times 10n, and we're going to put in a 2, then we need to press the right arrow and close the parentheses, divided by open parentheses 1, and then we'll hit that times 10 to the button, and we'll put in a 2 again, hit the right arrow, close the parentheses, and then press enter, and then we get the desired answer of 2. So, in summary, Whenever you're using scientific notation numbers, each scientific notation number should be closed in parentheses with the operations in between. One final note. Your calculator will usually display numbers in decimal form unless the number is either too big or too small for the display, and then the calculator will convert it to scientific notation. If you would like your numbers to always appear in scientific notation, as you might if you're converting standard numbers to scientific notation, you can set up the calculator to do that. And here's how. You again press the mode button, and you'll notice along the second line it says norm, psi, eng. So norm is the normal mode that you've been using. If you would always like numbers to be in scientific notation, you move your cursor down to the second row, go over one to the right, press enter, and now all numbers, even small numbers like 2, 5, 50, point 3, all of those will be automatically displayed in scientific notation. If you want to go back to the regular way, just hit mode again, down one, Press enter to go back to normal, and then second quit, and you're back to normal.